Okay, guys, welcome back to Debbie's Classroom, and we're going to go over uh, a quick lesson of geometry, the very intros. That's what I like to do, is make sure that whoever's watching these videos accumulate the basics, and that's the most important thing, I think, you know, as uh, we go on to this world of learning. Now, geometry is like one of the most ancient sciences in math. And so, why we're, you know, for it to be so old, why is it that, you know, most of our kids and ourselves don't know geometry? Well, that's a question we need to ask our school system. We're going to go ahead and start off quickly because the videos, uh, only, you can only have so much time on them. Uh, get a pen and paper, pause the video if you need to, and go back over it. Alrighty. So, we're going to start off with this. Everybody knows what this is, and this is a line, okay? And a line is, it can have different meanings in geometry. If you can just add the simplest little dot to it, and uh, it's going to say that that line stops at that point. And, you know, all these little simple things that we don't learn in school. So then, if we place another dot on this line, it becomes a line segment. Okay? So we know that. Let's do it different colors. A line goes on and on and on and on if it has an arrow on it, both directions. And when we see a line with a point, it's a line segment. What is a point, though? Well, a point is a spot that points out either a, a certain area on a line to be measured, or it, 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 you can also give it names like A, B, C, and so on. Now, what is a line that has a point? but goes on forever in another direction. It looks like this. This arrow represents that the line's going to keep going in that direction. This point shows that it's going to stop. We call this a ray. Okay? It's really simple. Now, what if, okay, we start learning our angles and stuff like that. Everybody has seen and mostly know that this right here is a 90 degree angle. Did you know that angles have different names? I know you've seen your kids or maybe yourself, you come like, what is that? I couldn't keep up with all that that the teacher was putting out. Well, I'm going to make a few of these uh, angles and, and share the degrees, what they're called and give you tips on how to remember. We know this is a 90 degree angle because we see this square and it's straight up and down, almost like a three o'clock or 12.15 on a clock. Now, what do you call an angle that looks straight like a line? Well, let me put the 90 degrees here so that you can take this in your notes. This is called a, exactly what it is, a straight angle. It goes straight forever and ever. So you'll want to write that down. It's a straight angle, and this is the sign for angle. And it equals 180 degrees. Okay, don't worry about it if you don't understand that yet. Just soak it in and write it down in your notes. Because as I move on, we'll be able to go over that. Okay, this is going to be called an obtuse because it's larger than 90 degrees. And we're going to work off this 90 degree angle on our next angles as well. Um, what if an angle that looks like this? It's smaller than 90 degrees, but uh, it's also smaller than 180 degrees. Well, it's just a little bitty angle. That's 
the sign for angle. And it's and what do you call something that's little and cute? Well, this is how I remember. You can call it a cute angle. It's little. It's smaller than 90 degrees. So we're going to call that an acute angle. We're not going to put a, a degree on that. We're just going to say less than 90. Less than 90 degrees. Okay? Now, your obtuse angles can look like this as well. That's bigger than 90 degrees. And let's do another one. And if it's just slightly bigger than 90 degrees, it is also an obtuse angle. Acute angles can look like this, or just right before the 90 degree mark. Okay? I'm trying to see if I have room. But remember, if it's 90 degrees, is what you want to work off. This would be your main angle that you want to pay attention to. Okay, and I'm going to go into more details. Take this, study it, write down the notes for the next video. Thanks.